The Acton Music Project is dedicated to the ideal that everyone can make music. I think we need a theme song. A theme song? Yeah, a theme song. Yeah, every good TV show has a theme song. Is this a good show? It's going to be a great show. Oh, well, we'll see. Yeah, hey, I guess we will. You got your guitar, right? I have mine. Why don't you play yeah. something? I got my yeah, bass. Okay, yeah. I can do that. Let's, cool. How about something like this? All right, I'm going to go get my sax. I could do some noodling. I got some lyric ideas. You guys want to hear it? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, go for All it. All right, I'll try it out. Making music with the Acton Music Project. Making music with the Acton Music Project. Turn up your amp and sing along. Write some songs that aren't too long. Grab your guitar and get in tune. If you can't do that, then squeeze a balloon. Making Oops. music with the Acton Music Project. Making music. With the Acton Music Project Making music is lots of fun So keep on watching now, don't you run Rock, jazz, country, and blues When we play, we don't wear no shoes Yeah, nice joke Yeah Everybody Making music with the Acton Music Project, making music. With the Acton Music Project. If you like the things you see, just tell a friend to turn on the TV. Now you might learn a thing or two, like how to play a mean kazoo. Hey, it's a good thing you brought that crack. Making music. With the Acton Music Project. Craig Vandera, welcome to the Acton Music Project. Let's see who's in the studio today. Why, it's the Paveo Family Band. Thanks for coming in, guys.
We're here with the Paveo family band, Steve, Victor, and Aiden. Played some great music for us today, guys. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Uh, Thank you. How, Thank how you for long? Inviting us. You're very welcome. How long have you guys been a family? <laughs> That's my first well, question. Um, let's go way back to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think 16 years. Well, all of us, it's been 10 Oh, it's been more than that. It's Aiden, 13. you're the youngest. How old are you? I'm 12. You're 12, 13. and Victor, you're? 14. 14, okay. So so the three of you have been a family for 12 years. How long have you been performing together, playing making music? We haven't really even thought about it much because it, it, it came out of um, them taking piano lessons when you were about, like, six or so for a couple of years, and then, then he started playing piano songs out of the Beatles' fake book. And then... You got interested in percussion, and it just kind of came out of that. So, I guess we've probably been doing it for about five, five or six years, starting out with covers. Okay. Beatles songs. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, we did. We did play a long time ago. I think the first show we actually had at Savory Lane was three years ago. Yeah, yeah that was when we actually like, put a name to the band and just said, "Okay, well, we're the Paveo family band." Share music with music. people. Yeah. Now you mentioned the the Beatles books. Um, oh. I'm guessing that's an influence as it, it is for a lot of people. What it, other musical influences do you guys uh, have? Um, I'm, re I'm really into uh, jazz and R&B and, and lots of, uh, I guess like 1930 to 1960s, like my favorite era, okay. and it was 1970. But yeah, um, I'll say Duke Ellington and Marvin Gaye are my two favorite, two, two most important influences. Great. What about you, Aiden? What uh, when you're listening to your iPod at home? What do you uh, what do you have on there? <laughs> Beatles, jazz, sometimes. Yeah. Mostly Beatles, though. Good. Good choice, Steve. You're, like this guy, you're older like, than these guys. What what were you listening to? You know, probably like all of the same. You know, we're, I, I like to think that we're all we're all kind of victims of our parents' record collection in a way. You know, you grow you grow up through your parents' influences and the music you hear in your house. Yeah. And my dad played a lot of was a big Dylan fan. And uh, R and B and folk music. I used to play a lot of Joan Baez and Bob Dylan in the house, so... And I still like to listen to that music sometimes. I've been listening to a lot of modern folk lately, but, you know, we like to jazz. Jazz is sort of like, you know, if I'm just gonna sit and listen, jazz has a lot going on, you know, to listen to. Well, you guys sounded great. Thanks again for coming out today. Can you play one more song for us? Sure. sure. You got it. All right, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Towards the interstate Away from a place I know far too well Start me heading south To the shore 95 to 4 Past the old fire tower Just follow the sign down to old Galilee Judith in the snow of the sea We're spending the weekend Away on Bark Island Leaving the mainland behind We're gonna race to find a parking space Gonna rush to that ferry landing gate And when they clip that chain Block Island Sound We're lucking out Cause it's a warm fall day Up atop the deck It's all sun and sea spray as the boys stand tall in the bow As far forward as the crew would allow They're looking now We disembark in Old Harbor that 
day Right around the corner to the Orange Cat Cafe Gonna trek cross island Towards the old And up towards Champlain's Near where my sister's family keeps the board moored Gonna hop on that dinghy ride And we'll climb aboard We're spending the weekend away on Block Island Back on the water some more We'll do the thousand things we usually do If there's time left over to try something new But even if we just hang around That'd be fine with me Oh, it's so fine with me we're spending the weekend away on Lock Island The mainland so far behind The mainland so far behind Even just in my mind Theater, I'm Craig Vanderaa. You know, bands consisting of family members have a long and successful tradition in popular music. And if you think about it, it really makes sense. I mean, parents' musical interests and aptitudes are often passed to their children just through sharing music together, singing in the car, and really just plain old DNA. Typically, one of the strengths of many of these family bands is the harmonies that they make together. And again, if you think about it, Kids have grown up together, been singing in the car together, singing in the house together, so by the time they get to have a, a music career, they've already been performing together and they have a leg up on the competition. So many groups come to mind. Uh, the Jackson Five, the Osmonds, the Pointer Sisters, Isley Brothers, uh, the Carpenters, brother and sister, the Partridge family. Okay, technically they weren't really a family, but, well, David Cassidy, who played Keith Partridge, was actually the stepson of Shirley Jones, who played his mom on the show, but anyway. And with some bands, it's not even immediately apparent by the name of the band that they're related. Take the Beach Boys, for example, which consisted of three Wilson brothers and even a cousin. Hart is another example of a band that you wouldn't be able to tell immediately from the name of the band, but it consisted of two sisters, also named Wilson, actually. I don't think they were related to the Beach Boys, though. Van Halen. Actually, the last name of two of the guys in the band, and they've even gone multi-generational now with the son of the guitar player playing bass. The Bee Gees, spelled B-E-E-G-E-E, -E -E, apostrophe S, actually is an abbreviation, B-G, which stands for Brothers Gibb, and that band consisted of three brothers. There was actually a fourth brother, too, who had a successful solo career, but... Must have been sibling rivalry or something. They never really had any success as a quartet. And finally, there was even a band called Family back in the late 60s and early 70s. But do you think they had any family members in the band? No. The name actually came from the fact that when they performed, they often wore double-breasted suits and they looked like mafia. So someone suggested they should go by the name The Family. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. For Music Peace Theater, I'm Craig Vanderaar. Remember, support local music, be local music. Be local music with your family. Who knows?
Jesus. For we all live on this island And all we have is each other My friend My beautiful friend So let's pour out into the fields Play chase amongst the flowers while we can, my beautiful friend. And if winter brings isolation, let us gather round the fire. Singing our songs, telling our stories until dawn. If the cold chill fall is upon us. And if summer seems fading away, my friend, my homebound friend, let's be okay with all our todays, no falseness about our tomorrows, my friend, my homebound friend. Everything is shaking Everything is moving No matter how still or how quiet Like the birds who inhabit these shores On their way to warmer climes My friend My traveling friend Where the wind blown seeds of today Will fill all the fields of tomorrow My friend my traveling friend And if winter brings isolation Let us gather round the fire Burning bright Singing our songs Telling our stories until dawn My beautiful friend My homebound friend My traveling friend My beautiful friend Bright. You got sparkly eyes, you shine like diamond bright. 
But when your lids are lazy, ain't nobody can see your light. You got the brightest smile, voice as pure as a bird. You got the brightest smile, voice as pure as a bird. But when your lips are locked down, no one gets to hear a word. Your ears are keen, you hear the approaching rain. Your ears are keen, you hear the approaching rain. But when words hit heavy, will you hear your brothers in pain? All right, boys. today for us. Uh, those are all compositions that uh, that you wrote, or do the kids have a hand in adding to the tunes at all? Or Dad, my uh, dad used to, he wrote the base of the song, and, and we, we definitely had an influence, though, Aiden and I, we definitely had a say in the, in, in the chords and in the rhythm and stuff like that. So it's, it's so really we can credit to all three of us. They write their own parts to the songs, pretty much. Nice. Like that Block Island song that we played, even though it's like sort of like a jazz pop song, kind of like a Hoagie Carmichael type of song. There's a lot of chords, but they both wrote their own parts. Otherwise, you know, it has to be fun for them. You know, some creative yeah. element, you know. Now, obviously you, we saw you play, you're playing guitar. Victor, you're on the piano. Aiden, you're on the drums. Do you guys play any other instruments besides oh. those three? Or? Well, uh, I play, I played and I play very, various amount of different instruments in the school band. I, I started off with trumpet in elementary school. Then I uh, switched to euphonium in eighth grade. And next year, I plan to do sousaphone for the marching band. And Great. I also know how to play tuba, and I, I hope to learn trombone. But on my own, on my own time, I, I play piano and, and I teach myself a little bit of guitar here and there. But yeah. piano is my main instrument. so. I started with alto sax in school band, and um, now I'm playing tenor sax. I also used to play a little bit of piano, so I know a song or two. Um, I have started to take on the didgeridoo, <laughs> other than that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you do a pretty good wow. job of that, too. <laughs> Multi-talented. And you, Steve, guitar specifically? Yeah, it's mostly or? guitar and bass, and yeah. self-taught a little bit on drums. Okay. But um, it's kind of fun during the school year because they get a break mostly from our band during the school year because they're so busy with school instruments. I mean, right. it takes a lot for them to just keep up with their music they're doing in the school. So this is the first time we've played and rehearsed for others to hear us in, since November. And then summertime, we'll do more of that. We'll try to play more in the summer as a band. Great. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> if you weren't behind the drums, yeah, <laughs> or I had three hands, extra arm. or I had three hands, uh, and I knew what I was doing, it would be very cool to be able to do anything like that. Um, right now, I'm trying to learn this new song for the band, uh, uh, "And It Stoned Me" by uh, Ben Morrison. 
and just trying to add a little different Sounds sound. Sounds good. Yeah, you know, it's, it's beginning. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't have any of this. Some ideas for tinkling. So, yeah, some <laughs> tinkling ideas. Tinkling the uh, ivories, as they right? say. Yeah, but, um, so yeah, I'd be open for anything. That was very cool. Oh, well, thank you very much. Well, there are, you know, a few, a few places to start. You obviously know your chords. So uh, what's the what's the first chord in the G. song? G. G. And presumably that's the last chord in the song too. So we can guess that the song is in the key of G. Okay. Okay. So we start in the key of G, and we know the G chord, which is G B D, yep. as you played, right? Well, you're pretty close to the pentatonic scale. Pentatonic scale has five five notes as well. Five notes, no tenth, yeah. right? So you've like got three already. Like a pentagon. Exactly. So you're just going to add, for this, to finish off the pentatonic scale, you can add the A between the G and the B. So G, A, B. G, A, B. So you're going to oh, add that, that there. Right? And then you have the D, and we're going to add one note higher than the E. Really? So there we have it. And there's your pentatonic scale. If you take any major chord or any key of the song that you're in, consider that those notes 1, 3, 5. If you add the note 2 and the note 6, then you have the pentatonic scale. Any. So in C, it would be C, E, G. You would add the D and the A to complete the pentatonic scale. <laughs> I don't know. It's a I'm jingle. Just... Sounds like a jingle. <laughs> I'm writing a jingle. <laughs> sounds lovely. Yeah, the makings of a song. It right works. There. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's cool. So a couple other notes that'll work, uh, depending on the style. If it if it could lend itself to a little bit of blues, then a popular thing to use is the third or the middle note of the chord. Yeah. Down a half step. Down. Okay. okay. And really? that's would be a lowered third, and it'll give you a sort of bluesy sound. just dragging it into the regular thing. Yeah. Now especially if my chords have sevenths in them, then that'll help out with that sound. That's the other thing, you know, expand yeah. your, yeah, your palette. Yeah, because you get more uh, variety. variety. Yeah.